Oh, I think this is a game changer. I think that they are now, these drugs are here to stay. Uh, these are uh, leading uh, to, you know, we are seeing patients now live years, not months, uh, in a patient population like heavy smokers where we never expected anything to work. So I think these have really changed this treatment in non-small cell lung cancer. Are they going to benefit everyone? No. The response rates, you know, in Checkmate 017, 057 was 20 percent. With the pembrolizumab or the keno trials, it might be higher as we identify a biomarker. But I think it's still important to remember that the response rates not high, but in those patients who are lucky enough to respond, that response may be very durable. So the immune checkpoint inhibitors are going to be an important player. Uh, again, uh, the, the sequencing of these agents with traditional chemotherapies or, uh, or patients who have uh, target, targetable mutations will be interesting. Um, I think probably with the EGFR mutation positive patients, most people will use a TKI first, um, uh, followed by uh, either a chemotherapy or an immuno-oncology agent afterwards. But then when do you bring back in perhaps a newer generation TKI? Um, a, a lot of these questions still need to be answered. Well, immunotherapy is, is huge. Um, it's a uh, tsunami, basically, and, and uh, we know that the, these agents do have activity. Um, and certainly in the second and third line setting, nivolumab and pembrolizumab um, have shown activity and survival uh, benefit. And I think uh, it, it's, it has been and will be further incorporated into a therapeutic armamentorium for treating non-small cell lung cancer. The checkpoint inhibitors like nivolumab, pembrolizumab are really revolutionizing how we treat lung cancer. Uh, very recent uh, ASCO and uh, Canadian guidelines that come out in lung cancer and published only a couple of months ago, and they had very little mention of these drugs at all. They're mentioned in a section on future directions, and yet they've really become our standard go-to second-line therapies across Canada through compassionate access programs. So they've come on very strong and very quickly. I think trying to parse out how do we use these drugs and what populations and how do we select what biomarkers do we use to use them correctly and most cost-effectively will be an increasing challenge. But they're very exciting. I think the big issues for us will be cost and a new paradigm of differing toxicities and making sure our hospitals are equipped to manage them effectively. And also in the EGFR mutation setting, how do we use these drugs in that setting? If we have choices, for example, of T790 targeted agents to use second line or uh, checkpoint inhibitors, how do we select which one? To, that those will be important questions to uh, ask in the year ahead. I think it's a significant uh, change uh, going to come. Um, I think all it all depends to be uh, how these drugs will be funded, which drugs will be funded, uh, and what testing. I think those are the key things which remain to be answered. So again, those, those drugs, uh, the, the, the proof in principle is excellent. So immuno-oncology um, clearly has uh, efficacy in a, in a proportion of patients, but most actually don't benefit from them. Most patients on the, on, in the um, Checkmate studies um, progress quite quickly, but it's the minority that did quite well. And it's not only that they did, they did well, but they did well for a year and a half. So who they are and how we select them is is the challenge. Well, these are treatments that are obviously going to change the landscape completely. Uh, we're not going to, going to be applied to everybody, uh, it's still to be decided, uh, but it's obviously cha totally changing the landscape of how we're practicing uh, medical oncology right now. The, at this meeting in 2016, a lot of focus was placed on how are we going to be able to manage treating uh, many patients with lung cancer with immune checkpoint inhibitors. It's a great challenge that's ahead of us. Uh, we know the benefits from these drugs are uh, tremendous. A lot of patients can get benefit from them. There's still a lot of questions. There needs to be more uh, debates, more science, more data to come uh, to help us with these, uh, this extre extreme challenge. Uh, but it's surely exciting times uh, because of these agents in particular.